What is up, everybody? I am Sheasel Games, and I'm here once again with another episode of Dust and Elysian Tale. Elysian Tale, fuck. In the last episode, we took out the Lady of the Water and saved her from her madness, and after doing that, she was kind enough to make water flow back to Mudpot. And we saved Mudpot um, literally right after that. So good for us, I guess. Now, I'm not entirely sure what we're doing this episode. And also, we have a skill gem available, so we should probably buy it, right? Um, max health increase. Uh, let me check quests. Store things out with Lady Tethys, and she's restored the flow of mineral water. Return to boat pump. Alright, cool. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I am right now. So, ooh, fuck. Bitch. Alright, so this is the boss arena. And we are going to head back. So we are going to do this arena real fast and see how that goes. Because fuck it, you know. And also I forgot I put my phone on my desk. Like a dumb shit. Oh, this wasn't an arena teleport. This just brought us somewhere. Uh, this looks like it's near the town. Come on. Come on. Huh. Cool. Hey, look. Sunlight. Fancy that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. Cool. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. We'll get there in time. We have to. We did everything we were supposed to. You have much to learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes, even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. It's true. You can't really avert fate, you know? Like, whatever happens, happens. I hate to be like that, but it's kind of true. Let's go back really fast. Because I believe that other orb is like a thing. Is this a skill? What is this? Acquire a new projectile type. Press right button to cycle through Fidget's projectiles. She has lightning? Huh. Alright then. I'm cool with that. So let's see if Bopo managed to keep his father alive long enough for us to arrive. Um, you're not Bopo. You're not the Bopo I know. These are the stupid people. The woman who didn't realize her husband's sheep were missing. There's Smobop. Bopo, I'm here. Yay. We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. I can't tell what her face looks like. Bobo, darling, please come inside. Oh, he dead. Mama, what is it, Mama? He's dead. We killed him. We were too late. He held on as long as he could, but it just wasn't enough. Huh? Oh no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... It was just his time. And when it comes... There ain't nothing you can do. Sad. We got the water running. Once again, you can't avert fate, Fidget. We failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Did you hear? I got the water running! Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. I believe that's... I feel like that's the first time Ara is calling us Master. Weird. I don't understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, 
It's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life bread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were! I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy! Because you're dust now! Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. Well, I mean, like... I, I kind of agree with Ara. It's like, if you're destined to pass, you're going, you know? You can't be saved. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were, and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pop. I'll miss you. Sad. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so, too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise. Uh, and Bopo has a quest for us, of all things. What's up, Bopo? Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life, he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think, somehow, you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow promise thank you dust oh thanks so much it's nice of dust Honestly, dust snow how do you intend on keeping it cold this is important to him fidget we'll find a way all right that works for me so i guess now we're heading back up to the surface so motherfucker can we go yes i am ready to leave i think so yes we need to get back to the surface and find that manor lady tethys mentioned Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as 
as we stand so far away from it. I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great. Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. Thank God. If I get one more interruption, I'm going to be really upset because I really just want to play the game now. Because there was a lot of exposition in that episode. In this episode so far, it was like mostly all story. Um, so let's head back up. And here we are on the surface. And here's a save point. Save. Alright, cool. So let us head out of this cave. No, come on, I just want to play the game. Please, no more cutscenes. General Gaius, you asked for me. And this guy's still weirdly 3D. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. So are we this Cassius dude? Oh, so y'all should probably leave. That building's still on fire. Um, we well, were able to get the waters flowing again and save the valley. You were unable to save Bopo's father. We must now travel north to the Sourwing Meadow to meet this Sourwing Meadow to meet his, with this Baron Kane. Um, let's go back to Aurora Village. Oh, this is not where I want to go. Fuck. There we go. I accidentally went to the wrong place. Um, who are you? Fail. Please let me know if you. All right. I'll keep my. I already talked to you. I don't think I read his name the first time. Don't care what you have to say, Mayor Bram. Welcome back. Do you sell children's toys, or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. Well, of course you wouldn't. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Of course. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll and for you. And dye! I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. That was weird. I don't know you anymore. That was really scary. Oh, excellent. You brought all the materials. Yes, please. Wonderful. Hey, you're not tracing me. Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many Nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there. <laughs> Well, I've captured every nuanced curve. No. Uh... See, you can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect. <laughs> no, it really isn't. <laughs> Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Well, I'm glad for you being blunt. Stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, some cotton here, a few stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. Oh, and voila, I see where Liam gets it now. Customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. No, oh, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. <laughs> I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. Well, we got the fucking doll. So now, let's find the one dude that we had to talk to about well, girl in denim. Not you, is it? I feel like it isn't. Oh, we've been that depends. No. How would I know? I don't care. Okay. Shut up. Thank you, Fidget. 
for blast and lightning everywhere. Are you the guy we have to talk to? Yes, it is. Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh. Is everything all right? No, she's dead. I traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. Oh. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. Better not it's send us there. Cove, not far from here. Please, Dusk. Go of course. See if she's safe. No. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes. Yeah, that's about right. All right. So, uh, you're the dude who sent that fucking kid over to the to get water, to wash your laundry or something. Town guard. Please take. Um. I've got my. So nothing about us saving the town. Old man. Hi, Gihan. Ah, dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? Not well. I think I'll be all right. It's broken. Just need some time to think. And all. falling off my body. Is there anything else? I'm dying. Sounds like you've got something on your mind. Ah, dust. I'm I'm literally That's dying. Obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Hmm. And it's valuable? No. To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Uh, shut up. All right. Now, we're gonna fucking go to Ivydale Glen to find this boy. And he better not be dead or be mad. Came all the way out here for no reason to find this little dumbass. Looks like somewhere I can jump down, but I guess not. Oh, forgot about these guys. I forgot. Heal. Food. Please stop being on fire. Please stop being on fire. Please. Thank you. I completely forgot about the Bloms. So, I think I'm going to call it a part here. Um, there's a lot of talking in this episode. And just, uh... Yeah. I don't know. We'll call it, we'll, we'll continue in the next episode, alright? So, I will see you... I would like to thank you guys for watching. I have been Shazel Games, and this has been Dust and Elysian Tail. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shish, and don't forget to check out my social media, baby. And I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.